Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to show you how to work with data visualization. And specifically, if you remember from my previous video, we touched a little bit on pie charts. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do the dynamic and interactive bar charts. And what we're going to try to achieve is to basically have these bar charts animate in when let's say we scroll down or when we load in a page. And also we are going to do try to swap, let's say the year and then reload the chart. And also I would want to, you know, highlight the bars of so mouse over. So we're going to have the states of that. So this is what, what we're going to try to achieve. And as per usual, I'm going to speed up and just recreate all those assets in our Axure because so far we have only the pie chart, the top bit, which I covered in the previous video, but now let's do the bar chart. As you can see, I copied most of the elements in. And if I just preview, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I did what I did. We have that functional graph on top and then we have our new bit here. And now what we're gonna try to do is actually create the bars from scratch. So I have this specific thing for let's say January. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a dynamic panel first and just give it a name, let's say B1, so for bar one. Presumably I'm gonna have 12 of them for each of the months, and this is totally fine. And inside it, I'm gonna create a couple of states. So one is gonna be, let's say a full state, which is this one. Then I'm gonna duplicate and create a mouse over state. And also I'm gonna create a blank state which is basically a default state so this this is a state where let's say once we load it or reload the graph it has to start at blank which is invisible and it has nothing in it and so let's say our mouse over as well would need to be a bit darker um, you could make a different color but just be sure not to mix colors around so as you can see we have profits and we're already blue it would make sense to keep it within the same range and not make it green because you could confuse it with affiliate costs, let's say, or other bits. So keep the language consistent and keep it like in the same at least shade family, which is blue. And as you can see, our bit, our bar is somewhere here. It doesn't want to show. And it's just because I made a default a first state. So I'm just gonna go in and see what's exactly the size of it. So width is 44 and 169 so that's totally fine so i'm just gonna make it let's say full like so let me just actually test it out if we can animate that bar in and see if it works so i'm gonna add new interaction to a page and say on page load set panel state and b1 let's set it to full animate in we're gonna say slide up and let's say in 400 milliseconds, we're gonna slide it up. We don't need anima animate out, just animating it in and let's test it out. So boom, as you can see, it slide up. But since our bit actually starts a bit too, too much up above, we need to kind of like position it in the bottom like so. As you can see, we have an outline of a dynamic panel. So that it doesn't just appear on the top and has some placement on the bottom. I hope it makes sense. So here, as you can see, it started up and then it animated in really quickly, but that's totally fine. And now next step is what we're going to do is just make several copies. The only thing what we just need to sort out is the correct naming and that the bars actually make sense. So that's one, that's second one. Just gonna make it a bit, you know, randomize a bit the actual sizes, but one caveat, but let's say this is the one I just made smaller and it's, as you can see, the height is 137. I need to make mouse over as well 137 and position it in the bottom like so. 137, here we go. 
and also B1 was a bit off. As you can see, it started from the top, so we need to put it in the bottom. X is zero, that's great. And go now one by one and just reproduce the same behavior inside. So we randomize the heights a little bit, 181, and just remember that, as well as place the bars down to the bottom. And again, the same thing. And do it for every single one. Boom, it's done. Now all the bars are sorted and they behave the same. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a mouse sort effect because we know for sure that we're gonna have that. So every time I'm let's say mouse sorting a bar on mouse center, I'm just gonna change the panel state of this widget, which is as you can see, actually just allows an easy selection because we know we are just changing this panel. And I'm gonna change it to mouse over. No animations needed, just instant mouse over. And we need another interaction mouse out like so and just change this panel state to we need full and that's about it and i can just copy the behavior to the next and just edit the states so this widget again mouse over and then this state now we need full boom and do so for all of them again Boom, all behaviors are adjusted for each of bars. Let's test it out as usual. If we launch preview, as you can see, we are showing just one of them until we mouse over. And that's just because we haven't animated them in, so they're invisible before we approach them. This is something we forget. And I can see there is also a bug with one of the bars or two. So it's May and September are placed up above May, July and September actually. Let me fix the bug first. As you can see, the mouse overs are not down below. July as well. Just need to push it down like so. And then September. Again, mistakes happen and they happen a lot, especially in repetitive motions. So feel free to test as much as you need and test more than you need to be honest after each step is a good good way to test and also save because actually sometimes it just explodes and crashes so i'm gonna go ahead and as you can see on page load i'm just gonna do an action and just gonna add a little bit of let's say delay so maybe two seconds before we actually engage and then set panel state as you can see i have a lot so i'm just gonna add all the different targets from B2 to B12 for each of the bars. I'm gonna tell it to animate into the full as, as we, with the other one and animate in by sliding up in 400 MS and just turning off that it animates out because otherwise it's just gonna fly off. So simple as that and do so for each of the bars. Boom, and as you can see, we set the panel state for each of the things to full, just to check that we have no bugs. And let's preview it. In theory, we have to wait two seconds and then boom. And so what we can do next is basically attach those tooltips just to indicate exactly how much, let's say, each of the months brought to us, as well as make a switch between the years, as I told before. So you can basically make a copy of it and just readjust as you want to. But I'm gonna create tooltip first and I'm gonna reuse what we had in our bits of the other ones and do so like this. As you can see, we can't really predict of how much of a money there is and you know how high the bar is. So a good idea would be to have, let's say tooltip, let me just 
name it correctly, just place it somewhere in the middle, let's say. If a mouse over over his bar, it's just gonna appear next to it. Um, or you can place it on top, it's up to you, but I like the middle most. Just like this. And I'm gonna go inside, let's say, and say, let me see what we had before, 15. 10. So I'm just gonna randomize the number into something like 100k, like, well, let's say something like 25 million. Like so. And then make a copy for each of the bars. And now, easily, we just need to attach another action to each of the bars, just showing the tooltip. So insert action, show hide, and then find the tooltip for the specific bar, which is, let's say, B1 tooltip. Again, naming is bar mount here, and add another action to just hide it. So B1 again, like so, and just hide it. And we can also fade it in in 200 milliseconds and do so for every single bar. And let's see, once you made those changes, just to preview, I did it for a couple of first ones. As you can see, you can kind of have that type of visualization to preview exactly what tooltips are. I made it only for a couple of them. Again, it's kind of like a repetitive task, but please make sure to experiment and add them. And next, I'm just gonna simulate what happens if you switch the year, so 2019, let's say. And that's quite easy. Um, you would just basically need to select all those bits you have on a scene and just convert them into a dynamic panel like so. Just wrap them up into a container and call them, let's say, projections or something like it. Yearly report bars or something and then next i'm just gonna create a couple of states so we have state one which is our 2018 projection i'm gonna add another one which is let's say 2019 and in 2019 i'm just gonna remove all the bits apart from two months because as of this recording it's still february like so and we can also change the two month you know, sizing, so maybe it's a smaller, it's a rougher, fifth, rougher year. So 59 for that and 59 for this one too. And now I'm just gonna make a switch saying, let's say on selected change, do something. So I'm gonna do add new interaction on selection, on selection change. And I'm gonna say if that and that, do that. So I'm gonna set panel state and then add condition. And my logic is gonna be if selection of this option equals option 2018, I'm gonna select the bars to 2018 like so. And another one, which I'm just gonna copy and paste like so. Like if, just don't forget to rename if you have two if statements so it doesn't get confused to 2019 as you can see we have two conditional statements and then I'm gonna change it to 2019 like so and then it's gonna reload now every time it reloads we kind of have to copy that behavior we had when the page loads which is quite easy so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that set state thing all of it we don't have to recreate from scratch select the drop down and just paste it into that section, like so, so that it changes and then it bumps up all the bars nicely. Now for 2019, we need to insert action and do it manually, but that's fine because it's only two bars. So I'm just gonna go ahead inside the 2019 panel and just maybe rename it. So 19, so I know exactly which object is which. And so, again, selecting the drop down, don't forget about it, it's our trigger. We're gonna say, here, report bars. No, we need 2019 to full, animate in, slide up, no slide out, and another target. 
is our 2019 bar too because only two bars again full again slide up and no animation otherwise and that should work we have two conditionals and if we make a switch it should keep on animating the bars let's test it out boom that's as before we have those different bars for 2018 now if we make the switch to 2019 we have those different bars again and 2018 as well if if they're already present it doesn't animate in so you might also want to make like a reset switch basically just having another set panel state just make a copy beforehand like so as you can see i have now two statements two big ones and just make them default with no animations before we actually start animating like so every single one and then you would kick in the animations and it would always start animating in as you go but i leave it up to you start experimenting with it try to figure out what you can do with the graphs and if you can actually enhance it and make it quite fancy i hope this video was useful and if so give a like subscribe to this channel I really appreciate it and as usual, I'll see you next time.